this is Amy from the Virginia Harp Center, and I'm going to show you how to tie some harp string knots today. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a basic harper's knot today. You will need to know this knot for your lower strings, like the fourth and fifth octave strings, that do not use a string anchor. First, you want to get your string, kind of bend it over to the right so it looks like a candy cane, and cross it over in front and then put your thumb and forefinger on it and hang on to that intersection. Then make a second loop with the long end away from you. Give it a quarter turn and slip the second loop over the first loop and then pull the long end of the string. And that's your basic Harper's Knot. Now let's do it with a real string. Okay. Now we're going to tie the Harper's Knot with a real harp string. The harp string is pretty rigid, so you're going to need to kind of work the bottom three or four inches of the string so that it gets supple enough for you to work with so you can make the loops. Okay, so I'm going to kind of turn that over and make the loop. I'm going to hang on to it with my thumb and forefinger. Make a second loop. Give it a little bit of a twist. Put the second loop over the first loop and pull the long end of the string. It looks ugly, but it'll look great when you tie it up in the harp. So now I'm going to show you how to do a harper's knot with a string anchor. And the string anchor is for your higher, smaller strings, and it's simply so that the knot from your harp knot does not get pulled up into the harp, into the hole in the string rib, and get stuck. So we're going to make a loop with our string, and then we're going to take our string anchor and we're going to put that behind the loop and hang on to that with our thumb and forefinger. And we're going to make a second loop with the long end in the back away from you. Give it about a quarter turn and slip that over the first loop and the string anchor and then pull the long end of the string. And now you've secured your string anchor. And for first octave strings that are really, really slippery, you need to make an additional loop. So repeat the second loop, give it a quarter turn, slip it over the first loop in the string anchor again, and pull it tight. Now you've got a secure knot with a string anchor that won't slip. All right, so this is what we call a Kamak harp knot. And this is a harp knot that Kamak uses on all of their strings and includes a string anchor on all of those strings. And this is also my favorite knot to use for any harp string that uses a string anchor. So we're going to make a loop, kind of with a little extra tail. And I'm going to give the loop a twist. And I'm going to stick the tail through the loop, and we get kind of this pretzel-looking thing. And I'm going to take my string anchor and poke it through the farthest out loop and pull it tight. And for first octave strings that are really slippery, it's necessary to do an additional hitch. So make yourself, make yourself another loop and twist it over the string anchor and pull it tight. And that's what we call the Kamak knot. Okay, so let's do a Kamak knot with a real string. And for the lower strings, you'll need to work the bottom three or four inches so that the string is supple enough to make your loops. You make a loop with a little bit of extra tail, give that a twist, and then stick the tail through the loop. Okay. And then I've got my little uh, dowel that Kamak uses for string anchors. Poke that business through and pull it tight and you're ready to go. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on our Facebook page.